congratulations Thank you so on much. the film for the Possession Diary. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Where, where, where the original idea came from for this film? You know, uh, the original actually came from my buddy, uh, Rich Wealthy, who, who, uh, who I previously worked on other movies. And uh, he usually works on independent low-budget uh, movies. So I decided to give him a call and I said, hey, uh, Rich, uh, do you happen to have a... Uh, a script that takes place in one location. He goes, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. It's called The Possession Diaries. I said, send it over. Let me check it out. So I read it, and I said, you know what? This is interesting, very interesting that it's in the point of view of the of the girl. I haven't yeah. seen this before. I can't recall if, I, if there's a movie like that. And I said, you know what? I think I, re I can really work with this, uh, especially that's in one location. That helps my my low budget, you know? And, uh, and I asked him, like, is, it, is, it, is it okay if I can do a major rewrite to make it a lot more intense, mm -hmm. a lot more scarier? Uh, not so much about jump scares, but it's just like, it's just that deep fear that I want to instill into the audience. And uh, so once I did the rewrite, he read it, go, you know what, this really works on It's a lot scarier than what I wrote. And I took some of the cliches out, like uh -huh. the levitation scenes, the swearing between the uh, priest and, and the possessed girl that you always see in a bunch of movies. Yeah. And I go, you know, let's take this out and stuff like that. Did you find it easier or more challenging to have it in, all in one location? You know, um, it was challenging because I wish that we had more money to, to build the set on a studio where we can do a lot more coverage, you know? So shooting in one location, on an actual location, limits you pretty much on the coverage. And it's not very stimulating, you know, but I thought that just having the fear and the tension, that will probably, uh, you know, uh, do, do the job for, for not having all that uh, coverage. You know? Great, well, before I let you go, I know you have a screener no, that's about, right to, here, buddy. about to start. How was Catherine? Basically, she was practically in what almost a hundred percent of the scenes. She was, well, yes. I mean, for her being her first time uh, as far as taking the lead, I mean, she had to carry the whole movie on her shoulders. And uh, as a director, I had to, you know, come in and 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 and, and, and inspire her and and push her a little bit more because I know there were times that she was really tired because we were doing take after take. And uh, and I know I know I kind of. You know, like, I know I kind of killed her in some sense. And I said, hey, sweetie, can you do one more? I mean, just one more, you know. And she goes, okay, let me walk away and I'll come back. We did that many times. That like she will walk away and then come back. And then she will give me what I want, you know. But it was impressive to see her. That woman can cry in cue. Uh -huh, really? She can cry in cue. That's what really impressed me about her pretty much. Excellent. Yeah. And, and just real fast, you have more... Uh horror projects after this? Yes, or? I have a, a very dark uh, drama that has that's horror elements to it, and uh, I just finished writing the script, and it's called The Acts of Killing, and it deals with uh, a family that uh, some of the family members happen to kill by accident or self-defense, and somehow they like the taste of it, mm -hmm. and they like to do it again and, 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 and feed that urge. So. Something to look forward to. Yes, absolutely. Well, anyways, hey, congratulations. Thank you so much. Love your film. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you.